How's it going everybody, this is Helmi and in this video I'll be reviewing the Logitech MX Master 3. This is the one with the horizontal scroll wheel. So I'll be covering how this mouse is different from regular mouses, how it improved my productivity and also its shortcomings. Alright, let's get started. So the Logitech MX Master 3 is a premium mouse because it costs around $100 or around 400 ringgit Malaysia. And what sets it apart from other mouses in the market is that it has a horizontal scroll wheel. And second is the ergonomic design for long-term comfort as it fits in the palm of your hand very nicely. Number three, there's not a lot of mouses out there that can support Mac gestures. So for example, swiping left and right between desktops, uh, not a lot of mouse can do that. This one can, so I'll cover this later. And the last unique selling point is the infinite vertical scroll. So you can scroll up and down through long pages in a breeze. So let's dive a little deeper into each feature. Okay, first we're gonna cover the ergonomics. But before we talk about this mouse, let's talk about a regular mouse. So I don't have a regular mouse with me, but I'm gonna pretend that this power bank is a regular mouse. And most mouses out there, they're designed for portability. So what that means is they're typically small and short, so it's easy for you to carry around. So you tend to hold it like this. Because of the short height of the regular mouse, my wrist is bent a little backwards like that. The entire weight of my hand is on my wrist and I tend to move the mouse using my wrist. So over a long period of time, this will cause fatigue and pain at the back of my wrist here. So now let's take a look at the Logitech MX Master 3. So right off the bat, you can see it's huge and it's tall and it fits the, the palm of your hand very well. So here, you can see because of the ergonomic design, it lifts my wrist up. And immediately you can see a better posture as the weight of my entire arm is transferred to my palm, to the mouse. And then there's no weight on my wrist and the angle between my hand and my arm is somewhat straight. So when I move the mouse around, I use the entire arm. But you have to train yourself to hold the mouse correctly like this because sometimes I do catch myself slouching a little bit. And when I do hold it like this, I have the same problem as if I were using a regular mouse. I'm resting the entire weight of my hand on the wrist. I move the mouse with my wrist and also my hand is bent backwards a little bit and I just readjust it and hold the mouse properly like this. So over a long period of time, this will greatly reduce the pain at my wrist. So next I'm gonna be talking about the horizontal scroll wheel, which is one of the reasons I got this mouse. So one of the most common usage of the horizontal scroll wheel for me is to scroll between open tabs on my browser. So it doesn't matter if it's Chrome or Safari and I can use the scroll wheel to change between tabs. And I think this is really cool. The second most common usage I have for the horizontal scroll wheel is when I do video editing. So for example, I have DaVinci Resolve here. So I'm editing this very video that you're watching right now. So here is my timeline. And before I got this mouse, I have to drag this cursor to go wherever I need it to be, like that. Or I can grab this bar down here. And it's a little tedious, but with the horizontal scroll wheel, I can just use this wheel to scroll horizontally. Look at that. It's really nice. So the other thing that I use the horizontal scroll wheel is for Photoshop. I have a featured image that I'm editing here for my blog. So I often use this a lot to zoom in and zoom out while editing my featured images. So here's an Excel spreadsheet that I have. And let's say if I have a lot of uh, data all the way to the right, I can just scroll right to left, right to left. That's really cool. And these bottom buttons right here, by default it's undo and redo, but I rarely use those buttons. So what I did was I reprogrammed this to do copy and paste. So here's an example. Let's say I want to copy this, copy, and then I paste it here, paste. So I think if you do a lot of copy pasting, copy pasting, these command would be very useful. Okay, the next most commonly used uh, feature of this mouse is the Mac gesture. So I'm going to show you how it works on the Mac but this can also work on Windows as well. Okay, so this button right here, if you press this, this will show mission control. So that basically shows all open windows, which is really cool. If you hold down the gesture button and swipe left, you'll switch desktops to the left. And if you hold down the gesture button and then swipe to the right, you go to the desktop on the right. If you hold on the gesture button and then swipe up, 
this will activate mission control. Again, it will show all open windows. So let's say you have a bunch of windows open from the same application. So let's say in this case, uh, this finder. So let's say you have a bunch of them open and you only want to see all of the same application windows spread out. All you have to do is hold down the gesture button and swipe down. Okay, and the last benefit of this mouse is the vertical scroll wheel. So there's two modes that you can select by pressing this button. So the first one is the, the ratchet mode. In this mode, you can really feel each step to scroll down. So to me, this feels like a regular mouse where you have to scroll a lot down the page. So if you are working on a really long website or article, you can press this and it won't have that ratchet feel anymore. It's gonna be an infinite scroll. So take a look at this on IMAX website. Then I'm gonna scroll all the way down. Really good, all the way down. Now if I wanna scroll all the way up. Really good. Most of the time, I've never really found a, a reason for me to go into ratchet mode. But maybe if you're a graphic designer or something like that, uh, that might be something that you really want. But for me, I just leave it on infinite scroll all the time. Now next, in terms of looks, I'm not entirely sold. Kind of looks like an alien to me. However, if I put this next to my MacBook Pro setup, it blends in quite well. Now I faced an issue with the mouse when I first got this and I'm using the M1 MacBook Pro. So the problem that I had was sometimes the gesture button doesn't work. Meaning if I press the gesture button, it's supposed to show all windows and that sometimes doesn't work. I can still swap between desktops left and desktop right. But recently Logitech released a new software update called Logi Options Plus. It's still in beta mode. Once I've downloaded the software, the Logitech MX Master 3 mouse seems to work flawlessly with the M1 MacBook Pro. So there you have it. That's my review of this mouse. It is a very expensive mouse. However, I personally feel that it's worth the money because of the productivity tools and shortcut buttons that other mouse don't seem to have. On top of that, because of the ergonomic shape, it reduced my wrist pain as I use my computer for a long period of time every day. So is it worth it? From my opinion, yes. And I would give this a rating of a solid eight out of 10. The only reason I don't give it a higher rating is because of the price, which is around hundred dollars, which is very expensive. But overall, I am happy with the mouse. So if you're interested to pick one up for yourself, I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. All right, see ya.